common problem people face is a lack of proper management. In the work world, there are several key factors managers must have to be successful. Oftentimes, managers shift focus to one problem, but to be a successful manager, one must know how to handle all types of challenges that come with the job. The two interviews that we conducted gave a great insight into these struggles or challenges that managers may face, as well as what they need to possess prior to the job in order to be successful. So our first interview was with my dad, um, Johnny Ingram. He is a professor here at the university. Um, he also manages um, Blackboard, which is the online learning management system that all students and faculty use here at the university. Um, he's the head of PIDP and um, the head of IT. Um, some of the fulfilling aspects he gets from his job is working with the faculty and students um, at St. Ambrose to basically just um, help them through understanding the elements of Blackboard and um, that system. Um, some of the challenges that he faces in his office, um, with SAU being a private school um, versus a public school with, that basically has a, a lot of unlimited funds, um, with SAU being a private school, they face a lot of financial, um, financial setbacks, so my dad doesn't have a lot of funds to work with his office, so he has to manage that. Um, and so that's just one of the um, challenges he has to face in his office. Um, but like he, like he said, um, he, he does get a lot of, he still, he still works with what he does have, and he, um, he has a lot of fulfilling aspects through that. Um, some other things that my dad does in his office, um, he, he, he teaches, um, he's a professor here, he teaches a social media learning class. Um, but besides for that, he also manages two to three employees. Um, right now, due to a staff shortage, he only has one employee at the moment, but um, he, is he is working to get another employee into the office at the moment. Um, and yeah, so that's just a little bit into our first. Okay, so now we're gonna go into a little bit of what Anthony Melton does here. Yeah. So the second interview was with Anthony Melton, the co-owner of GEM Equipment and Manufacturing. Um, the key value of GEM is a long-standing mutual relationship with their customers. And this is built on the foundation of trust and open collaboration between the company and their clients. Um, Anthony stresses the importance of personal values, especially honesty, to be successful. It's important for the um, employees and their managers to um, have trust in each other and honesty. Um, the most fulfilling part of the job, Anthony says, is the employee and company success. And he says it's not necessarily um, the money part of it, but the um, satisfied customer. He says that when he's looking, what he looks for in employees is people who are willing to learn new skills to continue to grow and develop with the company. Um, this is important so that the employees can move forward together with the company. Um, and it's important to remember that challenges always arise um, being a manager, uh, but what matters is the way that we handle them. Um, Anthony briefly talks about how some of the struggles that, or some of the challenges that he faces being um, the owner of the business um, that he can't control would be like micro and macroeconomic issues. But oh, there was issues or other problems that managers can work on. Um, he says that Anthony believes leading by example is an effective practice for managing a business, as well as being a role model to the employees. Um, this also helps to ensure the employees know what's expected of them. Uh, Anthony says, be a sponge, nobody knows everything. Um, employees and managers, this goes for both. Uh, no one likes to know it all, and it can be hard to approach in the workplace if uh, you feel like you can't talk to them about things because they already know everything. Um, being able to take what you learn and apply it in a way that pushes you to be a better employer in the workplace is um, another thing that Anthony had talked about. So that was the main point in the uh, second interview that we did with Anthony Melton. All right, so just to put a bit of the interviews in context, 
Um, there is a six step decision making process that is a combination between both my dad and um, Anthony Mellon's interview. Um, I'm gonna go through them here. Um, so basically the decisions needed to be made for the financial, the, fina the, financial, the financiality of um, their department. Um, so basically that's more from my dad's side, um, but also I'm, I'm sure it goes into Anthony Melton's as well, basically just making those um, financial decisions and, and trying to find the, the best possible way to um, save the most money and to also make the most money, uh, especially for Anthony Melton's um, business, more businessy side of, of things. He, he is a, a boss at the end of the day, so making money is very important for that. Um, also, just uh, evaluation of, of some of the decision-making um, processes. Um, basically, just making sure each and every decision that you make um, as a manager is the best decision, and um, basically going through each um, decision independent, independently and just making sure that that decision is the best for not only your employees but for um, but for your business as well. Um, another couple another couple um, decision making processes here is planning, controlling, supervision, and coordination. So that that's pretty important. Um, you always want to have a good plan as a manager. Um, you always want to have control over wherever you're working. Um, supervision is also very important, making sure that your employees and your staff are, are always on task, um, but also just keeping the motivation up in the, up in the